The 2026 World Cup will be the first since 2002 to take place in multiple countries. That being Mexico, the US and Canada. Unlike in 2022, every venue that will host already exists. Which is great. But even better, none of the stadiums are located within an autocracy. First time since 2014. With that being said, here are the 2026 FIFA World Cup stadiums. Estadio Azteca Despite not being state-of-the-art, the bare concrete exterior straight out of the 60s, this stadium was basically an automatic choice as a host this year. For one, it's in the capital city. It's also huge, and it's hosted the World Cup final twice. Estadio BBVA The shiny metallic exterior doesn't just look good, it features hundreds of these so-called gills in order to ventilate the stadium. But the best feature has to be that mountain backdrop. The stadium was designed with a slanted roof to make that view possible. Estadio Akron. This stadium was designed to resemble an erupting volcano. They've done a pretty good job without causing a mass evacuation. The grass exterior gives it a natural look, but the part with the seats and stuff lets the locals know that their lives aren't actually in danger. SoFi Stadium, the most expensive stadium in the world to build, is undoubtedly one of a kind. Whether it be the oddly shaped metallic exterior, the Oculus 360 degree video board, or just the seating layout, which is quite unconventional. Dome stadiums aren't for everyone, but the climate controlled environment will be welcoming in LA summer. MetLife Stadium. New York's showpiece stadium is actually in New Jersey, but it's not all that far away. The $2 billion venue might be missing a roof, which is a given in most European football stadiums, but it does have some handy amenities, such as the large video board in each corner for all your replay needs. AT&T Stadium Everything's bigger in Texas, and with its ability to expand up to a capacity of 105,000, this will be the largest stadium at the 2026 World Cup. The interior is not a million miles away from SoFi. It's actually closer to 1200, but unlike its LA counterpart, the roof is retractable. Mercedes-Benz Stadium As you can see, the people of Atlanta have more traditional tastes. Whether it be the pinwheel-inspired retractable roof, the Halo video board that runs along its perimeter, or the Falcon-inspired seating over here, the design replicates the traditional football stadiums of the early 20th century quite perfectly. Said no one ever. Levi's Stadium Don't let the lackluster exterior fool you. This stadium cost over a billion dollars to build as well. Some cool features are the rooftop garden that provides for the restaurants throughout the stadium, and being sponsored by Levi's, they actually brought in some real Bangladeshi children and set up a little exhibition sweatshop in the basement. Hard Rock Stadium. Of course Florida was going to host some games, and Miami, or Miami Gardens if we're being technical, was probably the most obvious choice. With that big overhanging roof and the all aqua interior, I feel like the design suits Miami perfectly. Lumen Field. This stunning dockside stadium is known for its aesthetics, sure, but it's even more well known for its loud atmosphere. It once even held the record. The club that plays here are called the Sounders, but that's just a coincidence because sound in that instance is referring to the body of water. Lincoln Financial Field. This stadium isn't a million miles away from Levi's Stadium. It's close to, oh, no it is. But I think it looks a lot better. There's much more going on with the exterior, and there's even some small blade-like roofs sheltering a few thousand spectators. Energy Stadium. Well, what can I say, it's not the most exciting exterior, and that's got to be the ugliest form of a retractable roof we've seen. But the interior does have a fairly simple, clean look to it. And like their Texas brethren, the video boards are pretty huge. It's not a center-hung video board, 
This roof was built in the early days of retractable roofs. Nestled amongst the leafy surrounds of Massachusetts is Gillette Stadium. Best stadium a man can get. Actually, I'm not sure if that tagline is a worldwide thing. Just in case, I'm not actually saying this is the best stadium. It's not bad though. Not many stadiums have a bridge and a lighthouse. I can understand why it's not particularly necessary. Arrowhead Stadium. This is a stadium that has stood the test of time. Despite being built in the 70s, it's still held in high regard. I can't help but feel that the stadium's distinctive design plays into its name, with the seats coming to a point much like an arrowhead. This place currently holds the record for the loudest crowd roar, despite the lack of a roof. BC Place. This place in BC features an extravagant cable-supported retractable roof, a pretty clean interior underneath, and it mightn't be the Oculus or Halo, but this center-hung video board is alright, especially when you consider that it's been held up by cables. Emo Field. I know what you're thinking. This place is tiny compared to all the other stadiums, but don't worry, it'll be expanded to 45,000 prior to the tournament. Regardless, it'll still be the smallest. But it's a rather nice stadium and it was built for football first and foremost. And those were the World Cup stadiums for 2026. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching, have a good one.